Today we are continuing our journey through Quentin Tarantino's filmography. Today we're watching Inglorious Bastards. Not one of those words is spelled correctly in the title. It's it's fine. It's cool. I'm not bothered by that. <laughs> I'm not. I'm I'm real I'm not. I'm not. It's fine. I am excited to watch this movie mostly because I I I really am struggling to wrap my mind around how Quentin Tarantino is going to create a World War II movie. I do not expect this to be, strictly speaking, historically accurate, but I do expect it to be cinematic as heck and to be a really good time, if you can say that about a World War II movie. So I guess it's time to find out if this lines up with my expectations or if it just shatters them in a million pieces, and it, it might do just that in one way or another. So let's watch it right now. For the very first time. Oh yeah, what's what's the music gonna be like? Uh, he always has great music in his films, but uh, this is a period piece, so the music's gonna be a little different, right? But I bet it's as I'm hearing now, it's it's amazing. Oddly, this does feel appropriate for the period and Quentin Tarantino. That's a unique combination to have, and I'm I shouldn't be surprised, but I am. B.J. Novak. Ryan from The Office is going to be in this. Once upon a time in Nazi-occupied France. That's unusual. Papa. Nice. Wow. Sorry, the I'm mostly wowing at the music. That is so good. Le colonel SS Hans Landa. Que puis-je faire pour vous? J'espérais que vous m'inviteriez à entrer chez vous afin que nous puissions avoir une discussion. Les rumeurs qui circulent dans les villages au sujet de votre famille sont tout à fait fondées. You're not here because of the rumors, are you? You're not here for his daughters, are you? Tu veux bien aller chercher du vin pour le colonel? Puisque nous sommes sur une exploitation laitière, je suppose sans risque de me tromper que vous avez du lait. Non, je préfère du lait. Okay. I mean, yeah, milk's good. Merci. He's not in a hurry to get to the point of his visit, is he? À votre famille et à vos vaches. Je dis bravo. Je vous demande la permission de passer à l'anglais pour le reste de la conversation. Hmm. Are you aware of the job I've been ordered to carry out in France? Yes. yes. The Führer has put you in charge of rounding up the Jews left in France. I just have a few questions, Monsieur Lapelite. For the occupation, there were four Jewish families in this area, all dairy farmers like yourself. Somewhere in the last year, it would appear they've vanished. What have you heard about the Dreyfuses, Monsieur Lapelite? Only rumors. I love rumors. <laughs> oh, his enthusiasm caught me off guard. We heard the Dreyfuses had made their way into Spain. So is his rumor based on a rumor he heard or based on the fact that he is successfully hiding them? So the rumors you've heard have been of escape? Oui. Shoshana was... Uh, Shoshana. 18 or 19. Hmm. Uh, I'm not really sure. Oh, what are we panning down to? I'm actually really, really glad to see that he is quite successfully hiding them. That is wonderful. Are you aware of the nickname the people of France have given me? I'm aware. What are you aware of? He has a unique way of interrogation. The Jordan. Precisely. Love my unofficial title. Precisely because I've earned it. You're sick, man. I mean, that's not surprising, but dang. Where does the hawk look? He looks in the barn, he looks in the attic, he looks in the cellar, he looks everywhere he would hide. But there's so many places it would never occur to a hawk to hide. Shoot, is he gonna find them? Why is it so big? It's obnoxiously huge. Comically huge might be a better <laughs> way to express that. I must have my men enter your home and conduct a thorough search. That is unless you have something to tell me that makes a conducting of a search unnecessary. Any information that makes a performance of my duty easier will not be met with punishment. Will be met with reward. Your family will cease to be harassed in any way by the German military during the rest of our occupation of your country. I mean, the reward essentially just being to live. Uh, so, what decision will he make? You're sheltering enemies of the state, are you not? 
Yes. You shall bring them underneath your floorboards, aren't you? Yes. It's fairly obvious he knew when he came in here. I assume while they are listening, they don't speak English. I'm going to switch back to French now, and I want you to follow my masquerade as I'm clear. Is this so... Monsieur Lapadit. No, 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 I mean, is she going to successfully escape? I find it hard to believe they would just let her go. Also, guns can cover a range. Please don't shoot her. I'm putting together a special team, and I need me eight soldiers. Eight Jewish American soldiers. Hmm. It's interesting. We're going to be doing one thing and one thing only. Killing Nazis. Nazis. They're the foot soldiers of a Jew-hating, mass-murdering maniac, and they need to be destroyed. We will be cruel to the Germans. And through our cruelty, they will know who we are. Dang. And the German will be sickened by us. Hmm. And the German will talk about us. Each and every man under my command owes me 100 Nazi scalps. Dang. Or you will die trying. Nein, 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 That cut, man. <laughs> the bear Jew. Das ist doch Soldatentratsch. An ihren Füßen am Eiffelturm aufhängen. I mean, the red face, this man's giving a performance. I mean, he's playing a despicable human being, but he's giving a great performance. Er hat als einziger überlebt. Selbstverständlich will ich ihn sehen. Ein Mann hat uns bewacht. Die anderen entfernten die Haare. Oh. Oh my gosh. Whoa. I wasn't prepared to see the scalpings. That is cruel. Wow. Sergeant Hugo Stiglitz. Heard of him? Everybody in the German army's heard of Hugo Stieglitz. <laughs> As a German enlisted man, he killed 13 Gestapo officers. Dang. Wow. Oh, that's an interesting approach. The high command decided to send him back to Berlin. Once the bastards heard about him, he never got there. Is that narrator Samuel L. Jackson? I will say, after meeting our main characters, the inglorious bastards, it does make a lot more sense that this is a Quentin Tarantino World War II movie following these characters. We just want to say we're a big fan of your work. When it comes to killing Nazis. <laughs> your status as Nazi killers is still amateur. We all come here to see if you want to go pro. Great recruitment speech. Dang. Whether or not you're going to leave this ditch alive depends entirely on you. You got to tell me how many they are. And you gotta tell me what kind of artillery they're carrying with them. I respectfully refuse, sir. Hear that? It's ominous. Pretty scary. Is that the bear? bear yeah. You. Beats German soldiers with the club. He bashes the brains in with a baseball bat, what he does. You. That's about what I expected. I actually want to roll tickled to hear you say that. Quite frankly, watching Donnie beat Nazis to death is close we ever get to going to the movies. Oof. Don't know why I'm making my own soundtrack. I do that sometimes, though. Did you have to kill Jews? Bravery. He's testing your bravery right now. There it goes. Yeah, I imagine one hit would be enough to uh, be dead. Oh. Donnie, bring out one over here. Alive. I assume he's given the information, and they let him live because he's alive in the future. Tell him to point out on this map the German position. Yeah, immediately. <laughs> immediately. We have these torture and overlaid. Hitler's gonna kill him right here, right now. Tell him 
We let you live, so you can spread the word through the ranks what's gonna happen to every Nazi we find. Hmm. Maybe I'm wrong. Sie eben so gebrannt macht wie die anderen Überlebenden. Nazis survived the war. When you get home, what you gonna do? What kind of mark? Ask if you're gonna take off his uniform. Wenn er sie nicht nur ausziehen, werde er sie verbrennen. We don't like that. You see, we like our Nazis in uniforms. Really? That way you can spot them. The mark. So I'm gonna give you this something you can't take off. Oh, that makes sense. Well, he's living up to the word he gave the in, the in his introductory speech. Whoa. German Knight in Paris, Chapter 3. Shoshan. Oh, we found her. Four years after the massacre of her family. Oh, wow. J'adore votre cinéma. Merci. Ma tante me l'a cédé. Je vous demandais votre nom. Vous voulez voir mes papiers? Emmanuel Mimieux. It is. Her real name's pretty too, but uh Mademoiselle, je me présente. Frédéric Sola. Bon. Is he hitting on her? C'était un plaisir de discuter avec une consoeur cinéphile. Maybe he's just looking for a friend, but he is barking up the wrong tree. Puis je me joindre à vous? No. Yes. Frédéric. Oh. <laughs> you remember my name? <laughs> Un soir, j'aimerais que vous cessiez de m'ennuyer. Je suis plus que juste un uniforme. Mais pas pour moi. Oh, oh. Hallo, 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 Friedrich Zoller. Ich bin Walter Fratzer und es ist mir wirklich eine Ehre, Sie zu treffen. So what is he known for? He has a reputation. Is he a German celebrity? Perhaps he's an actor. Alors comme ça, vous êtes un héros de guerre. I was hoping not a war hero. I was really hoping for something else. Je me suis retrouvé dans le clocher d'une ville fortifiée. Moi tout seul et un millier de munitions. Dans un perchoir, face à 300 soldats ennemis. Combien vous en avez tué? I'm guessing all of them. On peut-être un film sur vos exploits. <laughs> eh bien, c'est exactement ce que Joseph Goebbels a pensé. Et je vous le donne en mille. So vous it is related to interprète mon propre movies, sort of. Vous êtes la vedette de la fierté de la nation. Je sais. Comique, hein? Bonne chance pour la première soldat. Yep. J'espère que tout ira bien pour Joseph et vous-même. She is not impressed. And I wouldn't expect it to be. Oh, I love this music, but uh, what's it mean? What's about to happen? Yep. Why? She didn't have a choice, bro. J'aimerais vous présenter au ministre de la propagande, le chef de toute l'industrie cinématographique allemande. Cessez de vous dire, Emmanuel, c'est que le soldat Zoller a passé l'heure du déjeuner à essayer de convaincre M. Goebbels d'abandonner ses projets pour l'avant-première de son film et de changer... Have the premiere at her cinema? Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's a big deal. Let's see how she feels about that. I'm curious. How many places have you been in the Combien de places dans la salle? 350. It's almost 400 less than in Ritz. With less places? Wird der Abend viel exklusiver. Sie werden sich gar nicht drum kümmern müssen, den Saal zu füllen. Man wird sich um die Plätze reißen. He's, he's selling it good. I, I, I appreciate his effort to, I think, do what he thinks is a wonderful gesture. Wie ich sehe, hat sich ihr öffentliches Reden verbessert. Wir werden schon ein Monstrum schaffen. <lacht> ah, Landa, da sind sie ja. Emmanuel, voici le colonel est chargé de la sécurité pour la première. Now she definitely wants out of this. You think he recognizes her? Just the whole the scenario by itself is nerve wracking. Uh, pour moi, un café serré. Et pour la demoiselle, un verre de lait. See, that's very specific. It does not ease my nerves. Of course, strudel does go, milk goes good with strudel then maybe there's nothing more to it than that right right yeah no 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 everything's fine on m'a été signalé que vous employez un nègre connaissant le ministre du reich comme je le connais je suis en mesure d'affirmer qu'il ne voudrait pas que la réussite ou l'échec de son illustre soirée wow dépend de la prouesse d'un nègre c'est vous Qui actionnerait les projecteurs 
Il y avait une autre chose que je voulais vous demander. Ah, si. Ah. He totally recognizes her. Mais maintenant, sur ma vie, impossible ah. de m'en souvenir. Ah, is he playing a game? What is that? Ah, ce soir. Oh, she held it together so good. I can't believe she held it together as well as she did. Oh. Putain, on est censé faire quoi là? There's nothing you can do. You pretty much have to do this. De remplir le cinéma de nazi et le détruire par le feu. Wow. Avec la collection de 350 films nitrates de Madame Mimieux, on n'aurait même pas besoin d'explosifs. <laughs> Because nitrate film burns three times faster than paper. Huh. So interesting. I didn't expect this movie premiere to turn into a, a massacre? Is the material of the du grenier fonctionne encore? I know the camera is in état, but the magnetophone. Are you going to record, document your massacre? We are going to make a film. Clearly. Uniquement pour les nazis. Oh, I can't wait to see the film they make. What, ex what exactly are they doing? This is so interesting. Three days from now, Joseph Goebbels is throwing a gala premiere of one of his new movies in Paris. What film, sir? Nation's Pride. In attendance at this joyous, germatic occasion will be Goebbels, Goering, Bormann, and most of the German high command, including all high-ranking officers of both the SS and the Gestapo. The objective of Operation Kino? Love the bomb. Wait, there's more than one person trying to burn down this movie premiere? That's interesting. It makes... it's... Makes sense to me too that like Quentin Tarantino's World War II film revolves around a movie theater, movie premiere. That's really interesting. Bastards will be waiting for you. First thing, you'll go to a little village called Nadine. There you'll rendezvous with our double agent. She'll take it from there. Your contact is Bridget von Hammersmark. Bridget von Hammersmark, the <laughs> German movie star, is working for England. Yes, the last two years. That's now. fantastic. You said it was in a tavern. It is a tavern. Yeah, in a basement. So y'all get in trouble in there. What are we supposed to do? Make bets on how it all comes out? We need you to make damn sure no Germans or French, for that matter, escape from that basement. If Frau von Hammersmark's cover is compromised, hmm. mission is kaput. Hello, ye lieben. Setzt euch schon mal. Mm. Ich bin gleich bei euch. Ich verabschiede mich nur noch von meinen fünf neuen Freunden hier. Wie geht es dir? Moment. Ich dachte, hier kommen mehr Franzosen als Deutsche hin. You just never know. Das Oberfeldwebels da drüben hat gerade ein Kind bekommen. Wir trinken auf unseren Freund Wilhelm. Und seinen kleinen Sohn. Auf, Max! Auf, Max! Auf, Max! Es hat sich was Neues ergeben. Das Kino ist ausgetauscht worden. Der Führer wird dazu stehen. What was she saying about the Führer? <laughs> Danke. Oberstumpführer. Den kleinen Maximilian nur das Beste. Bro, go back to your table. Was für sie in Frankreich? Das geht sie nichts uh. an. Darf ich sie erinnern? Oberfeldwebel. Sie sind Soldat. Das ist ein Offizierstisch. Yeah, you're a little too comfortable, clearly. Entschuldigen Sie, Herr Sturmführer. Ah. Sie haben einen sehr ungewöhnlichen Akzent. Ich mich vielleicht erkundigen. Oh, this is spiraling. See, no one even knew you were there, bro. Sir, whatever. Aber auch ich ein sehr genaues uh. Akzent. Finde ich Ihren äußerst seltsam. <laughs> Meine Herrschaften, darf ich mich zu Ihnen setzen? Gerne. Of course, they're not gonna say no. Man, this is not great. Ja, Sie sind ja wohl kaum in Frankreich stationiert, sonst wüsste ich, wer Sie Correct. <laughs> okay, the laughter is not cutting the tension this time. <laughs> Spaß beiseite. Was tun Sie in Frankreich? Ich begleite die Dame zum Minister Goebbels Filmpremiere. Sie sind der Begleiter von Fräulein von Hammersmark. Sie sind alte Freunde. Wir kennen uns schon seit. Das ist eine great scene. This whole chapter has been amazing. <laughs> Schau die Reise gegen meinen Willen? Ja. Yeah. You think he's on to it? Is he on the trail? Does he know? That'd be an Auf impressive guess. Da lag ich dein Kind. Nicht die Geschichte des Negers in Amerika. Nein. No. Also dann muss ich King Kong sein. Ah! ah. <laughs> it was an impressive guess. Impressive guess. Wow. I'm still wondering if he's playing a game, just trying to get them drunk so they're easier to sniff out. Or maybe he's just having a good time. Sie stören. Ich bitte um Nachsicht, Hauptsturmführer. 
<laughs> this is such a great scene. It's just so unpredictable and entertaining and kind of nerve wracking. <laughs> Scherz. Nein, natürlich durch. Erik hat eine Flasche 33 Jahre alten Whisky aus dem schottischen Hochland. Drei Gläser. Hm. Ich muss sagen, ich habe genug von dem Affentheater. There it is. Wenn Sie sich eben verraten haben. Hauptsturmführer. Dang. Ich habe eine Pistole auf Ihre Eier gerichtet, seit Sie hier sitzen. That makes sense. Und ab jetzt sind wir zu dritt. <lacht> Und auf die Entfernung bin ich ein richtiger Frederik Zoller. A real Frederik Zoller. <lacht> das ist egal, was mit den anderen Leuten hier in diesem Raum passiert. Wir zwei nirgendwo hingehen. Das ist wirklich schade um Oberfeldwebel Wilhelm. Sieht so aus, als ob Klein Max als Weise aufwächst. There's a special rung in hell reserved for people who waste good scotch. Seeing as I may be rapping on the door momentarily. <laughs> See, auf Wiedersehen to your Nazi boss. Oh, there it is. Whoa. Ooh. Uh. He gets to live? Yes? Max is not an orphan? What are you? I'm a German, you idiot! Big gang is pretty good for a German. I agree! <laughs> My baby was born today in Frankfurt. Five hours ago. Anybody alive on our side? No. no. I'm alive! I not to know she's been shot! But she's alive! You let me and one of my men come down there and take the girl away. You go your way, we go ours. It's your only shot, bud. Come down. I really hope this works out. I want everyone to walk out of this. Max to have a father. And I want the information she has. As well as her to live. And I don't think they're gonna kill Brad. Um, Aldo. We only got a deal, we trust each other. And a Mexican standoff ain't trust. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You need guns on me for it to be a Mexican standoff. Up top, they got grenades. They drop them down here, you're dead. That's a Mexican standoff, and that was not the deal. All right, hell. Yes, 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 yes. <sighs> oh, if he betrays him and screws him and kills him, I'll be upset. Oh, I had a feeling. She shot him. She's the one who shot him. That actually caught me off guard. Oh, man. Why'd you invite my man to a rendezvous in a basement with a bunch of Nazis? That wasn't her intention, man. Oh, man, he's a... Well, they're aptly named as a group. <laughs> Jeez. You missed the sergeant yourself. You had just become a father. Bro, take your finger out of the bullet hole. Ooh, that made like all my skin leave my body. Jeez. Give himself away. You need to do that. He ordered three glasses. We order three glasses. Okay. I knew he gave himself away somehow. I wasn't a hundred percent sure. I thought maybe it was like a grammatical error or something, but the gesture makes sense. Lieutenant Hickox was going as my escort. The other two were going as a German cameraman and his assistant. You still get us in that premiere? You speak German better than your friends? <laughs> no. Have I been shot? Yes. That's something you don't know. I'm ready. The Führer is attending the premiere. Ah. Ha, 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 ha. What are you thinking? So it's important. It's imperative. Let's go and burn it down. Thank you. Blow it up. Plant old Uncle Adolf makes his horse a different color. <laughs> Definitely a colloquialism. <laughs> I butchered that word. Collo colloquialism. How do you expect me to walk the red carpet? You got a good how I broke my leg mountain climbing story. That's German, ain't it? Y'all like climbing mountains, don't you? <laughs> oh my gosh. Can you Americans speak any other language than English? <laughs> As a rule, no. Germans don't have a good ear for Italian. Okay, she's gonna come up with new cover stories based on our lack of linguistic skills. <laughs> I speak most Italian, so... I'll be your escort. Donovan speaks second most, so he'll be your Italian cameraman. Omar third most, so he'll be Donnie's assistant. I don't speak Italian. <laughs> the third most, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> ja, Hugo. Ah. Sind wir aufgestiegen in der Welt? Mir scheint, da fehlt jemand. Jemand fesch und nebles. 
Oh no, and her name, dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Fascinating shot here. I really like the her leaning there and the reflection. <laughs> I don't know anything about makeup. Is she gonna just leave that there? Or is that like a part? Okay, she like blended it in or something. All right, but it looked like war paint. It was a cool moment. Cause she's going to war. That's what she's doing. On trouve quelqu'un capable de tirer et développer une copie 35 mm avec la bande sonore. Et on oblige à le faire. Dans le but. They are serious. I can't wait to see the film they made. Wow. They definitely decked the place out for the premiere. Does he know that she's that girl or not? Surely he wouldn't let any of this go on if he did, right? So it's just maybe a one one big coincidence? Or he's playing a different game than I think he is. I mean, he knows she's working with the enemy. Oberstlander, es ist lange her. So was ist mit dem wunderschönen Bein geschehen? Ja, ich habe mich, dummerweise muss ich eingestehen, See me with the mountain climbing. Bergsteigen versucht. Oh. <laughs> he does not, he does not believe it. He's laughing at your pitiful excuse, no doubt. <laughs> See, it's not that funny. Es ist gestern Vormittag passiert. Und wo genau in Paris ist dieser Berg? Oh gosh. Is the hervorragende Sensationsdarsteller Enzo Gorlon. Buongiorno. Signore, in piacere. Gli amici della vedetta. Buongiorno. Lasciatemi vedere i vostri biglietti. 0023, 0024, non sarà troppo difficile di trovare. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. La bobine 1 è dal primo projecteur. La bobine 2 è dal deuxième. E la 4 è ancora nella sua boîte. Oh, they're making their own ending to the film, huh? Donc, vers il milieu della troisième, tu descends, tu fermes la salle à clé, tu attends mon signal. Mon signal. Tu mets le feu. Okay, I wonder how their plan compares with the plan of the military here. We dürfte sie unter vier Augen sprechen. Natürlich. I mean, clearly he's identified her somewhat accurately as the largest threat, but he's let the theater owner slip under his radar? Or maybe he's just onto everything and playing a big, big game. Lassen Sie mich Ihren Fuß sehen. Is he doing like a Cinderella thing? Is he going to compare the shoes? Oh yeah, he's doing a Cinderella. Perfect fit. Was jetzt oberst? Okay, now that he's confirmed it, his game is to choke her to death. Brutal. Wow, 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 wow. The cat in Weiss is smoking. Okay. And what about the other two? Love you. Tell me, Aldo, if I were sitting where you're sitting, would you show me mercy? No. Definitively. Nope. Honest answer. So you're the Jew hunter. Just a name that stuck. It is catchy. <laughs> Do you control the nicknames your enemies bestow on you? Aldo the Apache and the little man? <laughs> what do you mean, the little man? <laughs> I'm a little surprised how tall you were in real life. <laughs> Both Omar and Donowitz should be sitting in the very seats we left them in. Explosives still around their ankle, still ready to explode, and your mission, as of this moment, is still a go. All I have to do is pick up this phone right here, inform the cinema, and your plan's kaput. Right, why haven't you done that yet? It's so interesting. But if I don't pick up this phone right here, you may very well get all four to end the war. Is this something this man's actually interested in? 
Gentlemen, I have no intention of killing Hitler and killing Goebbels and killing Goering and killing Bormann, not to mention winning the war single-handedly for the Allies, only later to find myself standing before a Jewish tribunal. We have to make a deal. He's looking out for his own interests. Fascinating. I'm sure this mission of yours has a commanding officer. OSS would be my guess. Ooh, that's a bingo. <laughs> what? Is that the way you say it? That's a bingo. You just say bingo. You just say bingo. Bingo! How fun! He's like, take two. What shall the history books read? Whatever the victors write. Oh, he's moved by his own performance. And maybe it's just the memories of, of what he lived. A kiss before we die. At least I assume they're planning to go down with the ship, so to speak. Or maybe they have an exit plan for themselves. I don't know. They're really, really locking it up tight. Oh, he's yeah, he's on the outside. But he's got to start the fire. Yeah, they've got it all piled up behind the screen. Okay, this is great. It was part of Operation Kino from the very beginning as a double agent. Anything I've done in my guise as an SS <laughs> colonel was sanctioned by the OSS. He's definitely rewriting history. I have the Führer informed that the public has taken place. I should have a moment. We just like flashback. By the way, that last part's actually true. Oh, okay. I want to receive the Congressional Medal of Honor for my invaluable assistance. That's what he did with the, the Third Reich. bomb. I want all the members of Operation Kino to receive the Congressional Medal of Honor. You know, he's a despicable man, but I, I respect what he's trying to do. It's, it's the greatest hustle in history. Or revisionist history, false history. I don't know. This whole thing is wild. <laughs> Colonel Lander will put you and Private Yudovich in a truck as prisoners. Upon crossing our lines, Colonel Lander and his man will surrender to you. It seems like he got his uh, deal. It is time. Lots about to happen all at once. You are the gérant of this cinema? Remboursé. The actor of this film is not a clue. Listen, Frédéric, it's not normal to prepare this film. Ce film s'inspire de mes exploits militaires. Et en l'occurrence, mes exploits consistent en fait que... It makes sense, and I'm glad to hear that maybe he doesn't want to just relive that. Je n'aime pas regarder cette partie. Non, vous ne pouvez pas rester ici. Maintenant, allez-vous-en. Frédéric, vous m'avez fait mal. And he's about to lose Quoi? any favor he won with me. Je ne suis pas un homme à qui en dit allez-vous-en. Vous me manquez de respect à vous risquer ces péris. Fermez la porte. Quoi uh, she just flipped. Curious. What she asked? The gun! That's right! Yeah, it's good for her. And it blends right in with the soundtrack, no doubt. Oh, he's still alive. It seems beauty has not quite slain the beast. Although she tried. And perhaps she still will. I didn't want her to go out like that. Caught me off guard. I guess it shouldn't have. Dang. In his mind, this is probably a Romeo and Juliet scenario. Sick and twisted. But she already queued real four, yeah? And they die together. Star-crossed enemies, I guess? When I kill that guy, you got 30 feet to get to that guy. Okay. Can you do it? I have to. Shut by you. <laughs> Germany. Oh, good. Okay. That you are all going to die. Yes. To look deep into the face of the Jew who is going to do it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Amazing.
Wow, I love that they're just taking advantage of the moment. I mean, they were already there preparing to go in and kill kill them all, but... Oh... Oh my gosh, I mean, look, you couldn't have planned. You could not have planned this to go better. And she's just up there laughing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Touch aggressive. Dang. And this is how the, the truth, this is the true story, obviously, of how the war ended. Not at all some kind of farce or fantasy. Oh my gosh. That was absolutely insane. Das ist die amerikanische Kampflinie, Herr Standartenführer. I'm officially surrendering myself over to you, Lieutenant Rain. Is he gonna scalp him? Yep, good. Scalp Herman. Uh, yeah, yeah. Where are you mad? What have you done? Do you not know his reputation? What did you expect? He doesn't give a crap about your deal. Yeah, they made that deal, but they don't give a about him. They need you. In the war tonight, I make that deal. I make that deal. I don't blame you. If you're willing to barbecue the whole high command, I suppose that's worth certain considerations. I imagine you won't take off that handsome looking SS uniform of yours. He's gonna brand them? Ain't you? Can you abide it? Not one damn bit, sir. Oh, okay, okay. <sighs> I'm gonna give you a little something you can't take off. Surely he's not yeah! surprised. He's had plenty of experience doing this. Oh my gosh. Dagum, dagum. Da -da oh. Okay. Oh, all right. Oh, frack. Bro, bro, bro. I think this just might be my masterpiece. <laughs> They're so proud. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, fascinating film. Uh, it's going to take me a little while to like digest <laughs> everything and forget certain visuals because what oh my gosh i mean it was a good movie for sure <laughs> definitely not not how the war ended <laughs> someone out there help me kind of discern fact from fiction what parts of this movie are grounded in history what parts are just complete farcical what parts are half truth and half made up in some ways, this is exact. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just watching the credits and processing. That's what I do. But in some ways, this is exactly what I would have expected from a Quentin Tarantino World War II movie. In other ways, it's not at all. Um, almost, it's, how do I explain this? It's simultaneously more Tarantino and less Tarantino. Uh, it is definitely more violent than I expected. I mean, the, the scalping scenes, the carving uh, swastikas into foreheads, like that, it's too violent for like my personal preferences. Uh, and taste it just is, but it's so, like that was more than I, I bargained for. Um, there was still some like classic Quentin Tarantino music in this, but it was there was also a bit more balance and appropriate music than I expected. Right, it wasn't just wall to wall rock songs, which I would not have been mad about. But when they did include that one song in particular, like that was really well done, really well placed, and oh, wow, the cast was phenomenal in this film. I mean, wow, just about everybody brought their A-game. I mean, that's not surprising, though. <laughs> um, wow. Yeah, I don't... Ooh, I, I, mean, I tell you, I really don't know what to make of this film. I think from a storytelling standpoint, this might be one of the best ones Quentin Tarantino has told. As far as, like, the structure and the chapter markers, like, each chapter really felt like new chapters in the same story uh, from the very beginning seeing uh was it shushana 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 forgive me if i mispronounce any and, and all names because i probably will butcher the whole thing much like the inglorious bastards butchered the nazis i never mind okay but no i mean from a story standpoint like that was that was chapter one and it was really just an engaging way of introducing that character introducing landa and then kind of their dynamic or lack thereof did did Lander recognize that woman? He ordered her milk. That seems to to indicate, but maybe milk goes great with strudel, right? I. If he did recognize her, why didn't he say anything or, or do anything? I don't know. He, he does seem to be someone who does things just to amuse himself. I mean, the way he... His... 
very persona is terrifying and his i don't know almost ca- a very very casual approach to things right when he was talking to the owner of the farm he just was so casual right up until he got to his point when he was putting the shoe on the the actress i mean that's so much scarier than he if he was just an all a, a flat out evil being right mm. like chills even as he was making his deal to go to America, you just never know exactly where he's coming from. And while part of me wishes Landa had switched places with the man who was scalped at the end, perhaps it is its own justice that he will wear a brand for, for the rest of his life. He's certainly not going to find any pleasurable existence in America wa- walking around with that carved onto his head. I guess he could wear a hat. I don't know. Whatever. It's also interesting too, like the the primary soldiers Tarantino chose to, to focus this this film on real or not real. Honestly, I I don't know. I'm inclined to think um, not certainly not genuine in their portrayal, whether or not they were real people. I, I can't say. You know more than me. Feel free to let me know by all means, please. Thank you. But it's just fascinating that they were equally as cruel in their retribution to the Nazis as, of course, the Nazis treated the the Jews. I mean, they they operated with sheer violence sheer cruelty no mercy and i'm sure some people love that some people hate that i don't know uh but it's just interesting approach to focus the story on those characters on brad pitt's character i mean just fascinating um (laughs) i I mean and they're they're kind of scary in their own right (laughs) i absolutely loved watching the two separate plots of burning down the theater and uh the assassination plot from the military. I loved watching those unfold and kind of come together. And then what a glorious cinematic experience as they did come together as they were shooting. And wow, did they really, really shoot up Hitler in this film? Oh my gosh. And the, the burning, I mean, it, you, I can't imagine that scene being shot or carried out any better than it was in this film. I don't think any filmmaker could have made that scene in a a better way. Uh, just very, very well done. Yeah, you have a lot of uh, Tarantino's trademarks, dialogue. I mean, no better than that, that card scene, the game, and the kind of playfulness building up to the climax of, of that chapter. Wow. I mean, it's on full display here in, in a very different setting. I mean, I think this is... Om- I don't know the best way to express this, but it's kind of like Quentin Tarantino's really expressing his directorial chops in a very different way and it's still very much his style and his film but it shows that he's more than just a a one-trick pony i mean if kill bill and death proof didn't uh, you know every film has its own kind of flair and and unique qualities while still being distinctly quentin tarantino and i admire that i respect that and He is a great filmmaker. I have a handful of his directed films left, and uh, I'll probably start looping back around to some of his written films that maybe he didn't direct. And I think he directed um, parts of a certain other movie. Maybe we'll include those in and we'll see how it goes. But in the meantime, thank you for hanging out and watching Quentin Tarantino films with me. If you'd like to see the next five movie reactions that I'm releasing here on the channel, then you can do so by becoming a YouTube channel member at the early access level or hanging out with me over on Patreon. Certainly that support goes a long way for helping me continue the channel. So check it out if you want to. In the meantime, just being here and watching is absolutely the best thing you can do to support the channel. So thank you so much. Hopefully you're enjoying yourself and have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.